Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. I'll title this one, uh, The Pestilence and Famine Within. The Pestilence and Famine Within. You see, we're, we're entering the time of pestilence and famine. And the Lord is, is uh, uh, he, he's sending this amongst the world. There's going to be a worldwide famine and there's, and there's going to be diseases running rampantly. And Esau, Edom, the Lord is, this is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the devil. This is the Lord's left hand. And he's going to use the, him, like it tells you in Revelations, that uh, 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 power was given unto him to, t uh, 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 to kill with the sword, uh, with hunger, and uh, 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 with roughly paraphrasing it with the hunger and famine, or hunger and sword. And the beast of the earth. So you have all these calamities that are coming uh, amongst the, uh, the earth that Esau is, called, Esau is going to be destroyed and removed from the earth. But the Lord is using him because he was uh, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is created for uh, wicked, uh, you know, uh, 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 wickedness, man. So uh, he's using him to bring this destruction on the world. And Esau is cutting off the food supply. He's maxinating all the food. He's printing 3D meat. You're, there's fake meat about to be put on the shelves if it's not already there. All the nutrients, and then Esau's also, uh, um, all the nutrients are being cut out. Uh, uh, Esau's gonna release a bioweapon you know, there's a, a, a disease, a pestilent that, that's going to be non-curable. You're not going to be able to go to your pharmacy or to your uh, uh, doctor and be able to take some type of medication or drink or eat something to cure this. So you, you're going to have the famine and you're going to have the pestilence. You see with the eggs, eggs are a natural resource, man. You need eggs or protein. There's a, a, a shortage on, on lettuce. You know, lettuce is good for your bones. It helps you sleep. You know, uh, I mean, you have all these things, man. The Lord is bringing the pestilence and famine. And the writing is all over the wall. See? Call halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call halal Yumla Alahaya now with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let me get to the scriptures. I just got a couple and I'll close out. Let's go to Job. Job 12, Job 12 and 14, and it reads, Behold, he breaketh down, and it can and it cannot be built again. See? And it, it, the Lord is breaking down this place, America, and even amongst the system around the world, this Babylon system. He's breaking down, and it cannot be built again. You see? This place, America, is through. He's This place is breaking down uh uh, uh, spiritually, uh, economically, you know, educationally, uh, socially, militarily, you know, the Lord is, is, uh, breaking this place down. It says, behold, he breaketh down and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man and there can be no opening. So whatever the, whatever the Lord allow, uh, whatever chastisement or go to prison or whatever the Lord want to put you in. He, the only way you, he, the only way you're gonna make it out is through the Lord, and He'll keep it like that until He feels like He's ready to go move you on to whatever He wants to put you through. Fifteen, it says, "Behold, He withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also, He sendeth them out, and they overturneth the earth." See, so the Lord can stop the uh, heavens from raining and uh, uh, cause a drought and you see Lake Mead, Lake Powell, um, the, uh, uh, what is that? The, um, 
the river over there. The Euphrates River is drying up. You know, these are prophecies, but then you still have you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, two-thirds of you shake your head at this, you reject this, you don't believe in none of these prophecies. See? Let me go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, um, I'll close out with this. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, what is that? Oh, Ezekiel Salakia. Ezekiel 7 and 15, and it reads, it says, the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. He, see, he that is in the field shall die with the sword and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. See, so you have men that's good because war is coming. You have war out here in the streets and, and, and amongst the nations. And then you also in the city, you're going to have a lot of you Israelites are in the city. But the Lord said famine and pest. He said, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. You're going to have blackouts that's coming. No electricity, no food, very little food to where it's, it ain't going to be no food. You know, and then you're going to have th these diseases that are that are running wild because Esau is about to release a, a, a disease out here that's going to be non-curable. It says uh, 16, but they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning everyone for his iniquity. You're going to have these, you have preppers and other, you know, the rich and different, you know, they, they, they got these bug out places in the far out in the mountains, these cabins and stuff, but th there's nowhere to go. You know, you if you cooking and because this is going to be a worldwide famine, you you think that you're going to be able to cook and, you know, as soon as some people smell some food, they coming to get you. you know I mean, there's just all type of stuff that's coming. It says uh, 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 17, all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. People ain't going to be able to take in this day on what's coming. 18. It says, they shall gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads. 19, I'll close out with this. It says, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in, in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls Neither fear, fill their bowls because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. See, and, and, and pretty much uh, um, in this day, your, your money, your homes, your status ain't going to save you. They're going to try to, they're going to be casting their money in the middle of the street and trying to buy off this. They, you, not, they're not, in a minute, in a minute, it's going to be uh, 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 to where. Uh, they're going to be trading you women for food. This is where it's going to go. They're not going to, it's, it's, it's going to be food, food and water and shelter. You know, all that money and gold, that ain't going to do nothing, man, in this day. That ain't going to do nothing in this day. Food, water, and shelter. This is what it's going to be about in this time. And it ain't going to, that gold and shit, that ain't going to save you. You see? So, you know, a famine is coming. Shalom.